that you walked in the joint I could see you were a man of distinction A real big spender Good looking, so refined Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point I don't pop my cork for every man I see Hi guys and welcome and I'm so sorry that the end of uh, this video you just saw the camera broke down I'm so sorry well it happens and I didn't have it in me to do it again because you know I'm 57 and although I have a, a big career behind me in Amsterdam as a go-go boy in all the clubs each weekend I'm uh, retired of the go-go business now, so, eh, sorry, another time maybe, but why am I here and why that introduction? It's because I'm doing the shameless tag by our lovely Dan from the Weird Book, Book Club. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking at uh, this uh, tablet now and then for the questions. And I see that the tag is actually called Let's Get Shameless. Well, that's rather, sounds rather inviting then. Hmm? Purposeful. Hmm? Okay, number one. A shamelessness personified. Talk about a book, character or writer who you feel best embodies what it means to be shameless. Well, let's, for this one, I've picked up this book, Glove Puppet, by uh, Neil Drinnen, a writer you've probably never heard of or read about, because he's, he's not that well known, but he writes very good. I was rec recommended this book by my friend Aaron Kroc, uh, who will star later in this uh, video. Um, and it's a long time since I read it. I don't know, maybe eight or nine years, but it was rather shameless. <laughs> okay, number two. Shameless suck up. Talk about a book outside your comfort zone that you read mainly because you appreciate or admire the person who recommended it. L. Rick of another book vlog recommended this one to me. We Are Not Ourselves by Matthew Thomas. I talked about this book earlier in, in, in an earlier video. Its, uh, its main character has Alzheimer's disease and it's, it's really the story of Alzheimer's. And it's out of my comfort zone because I am not one who likes to talk or read about the most horrible illnesses, you know. But uh, since Rick recommended it, and I decided to pick it up, and I must say it was really, really beautiful. So, here you go. What? I sound a bit like Adam, doesn't, don't, don't I? Well, there you go, and then tapping on the book. Sorry, Adam. Question number three. Shameless plug. Well, talk about a book or writer you'll recommend to anyone you meet because they need more attention, damn it! Question number four. The shameless snob. Talk about a text that speaks to you very, very peculiar interests. Stuff so obscure that it almost feels like the book was written just for you. Shameless fan. Talk about a book or writer you know you'll keep returning to despite the fact that there are literally 
millions of other things you could be reading. Robin Hobb. These are the first three books uh, of uh, the what many call the Fitz books. Fitz being the main character. This is a trilogy. Actually, there are nine books, three trilogies. They are awesome. I read them three times. And any book that appears in this series ever again, I don't think so, because of the ending in the last book. I won't say more. I will read. She's, she's a really great fantasy author. Then, on to question number six. The Shameless Hater. Talk about a trending popular book or author you did not enjoy and you don't care who knows it. I don't give a damn. Who knows that I did not like this book at all. Well, almost everyone raves about it. It was over, over literary, uh, too purposefully written, like, uh, hey, this is an intelligent novel. Mm -hmm. No. Then, The Shameless Flirt. Oh, talk about a book that really turned you on in that special way. Or touch you emotionally in a way that others might find embarrassing. I talked about this book earlier on in, 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 uh, in two videos, to be exact. Uh, Half Life by Aaron Kroc. A beautiful love story about a boy uh, or a young man who uh, has his first love with uh, a police cop and it's beautifully written but at the end it's the most sexy passage I have encountered in Gay literature. I won't read it aloud. It's too shameless for this tag. But page 314. And then the final question. Tagging. Tag what you deemed to be a shameless amount of booktubers to complete this tag. Bonus points if you say something nice about each one. Well then, since you tagged this whole series of booktubers, you were so shameless in this that there is almost nobody left to tag. But I will tag Oliver from BookDraw. I'd like to see his shameless tag. And of course, like always, everybody else who wants to do this. Well. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the video gone wrong, but thank you and have a nice day. Sleep well. Dream decent dreams. <laughs>